Hey, this is happening right now. Oh, it's real, I swear it's real. It's not fake. It's a freaking mud snake. Oh my god. Look how teeny. Snakes have evolved a variety of different adaptations to help them survive in a wide range of different environments. You have arboreal snakes in the rainforest, ground-dwelling pit vipers in arid environments, and in the water, you get some of the most cryptic and uniquely adapted snakes in the world. Hey guys, check this out. I had no earthly idea I was going to see the snake in North Carolina, maybe ever. This is the mud snake. One of the most cryptic aquatic snakes, I would argue in all of North Carolina, maybe even in the Southeast, 99% of the time, these guys are underwater, in the mud, or in aquatic vegetation. Rarely are they ever on land, and usually, if they are, especially when they're crossing a road like this, it's during really heavy rain, and they're basically just swimming across the road. They're actually pretty awkward on land because they are suited for an aquatic lifestyle. And they're really unique because they feed almost exclusively on salamanders. So especially things like sirens or amphumas that are very long fit quite nicely in the body of a mud snake. At maximum size, an adult mud snake can reach well over four feet long. So they're actually pretty hefty for an aquatic snake. So this, this little guy was probably a hatchling from last year. You can see he's maybe six inches long. So he still has a lot of growing to do. Um, but at this size, it's all about predator avoidance for a snake like this. He's probably only able to cross the road at night because A, during the day it's too hot, but B, there's also tons of predators that go after a little snake like this. Mud snakes have no venom. They're not even constrictors. They just grab their prey and swallow it because they're eating those salamanders, which can't really do anything back. And especially on land, they're just super cumbersome. So they can only safely cross at night. And even on a dry night like this, it's super hard to see these. But that coloration is absolutely stunning. I have never seen a snake like that before. <laughs> I, I mean, wow. Earlier tonight, we got a pygmy. Now we have a mud snake in North Carolina. I cannot tell you how rare it is to see one of these guys on land and not even in the rain. Um, as far as ecology goes, they are actually, we don't know that much about mud snake ecology because they are such a cryptid species living almost completely in the water. However, as a large snake, they do represent a lot of energy. In the aquatic ecosystems that they live in, they are not apex predators, but I would say they're pretty close because they're eating all kinds of salamanders um, that live down in those aquatic systems, but still prey for any raptor, maybe even alligators or very large snakes. All right, guys, I'm so glad that I can show you this awesome little snake. It is so cool to see this here in North Carolina. I thought I was gonna have to go a lot farther south if I ever had a prayer of seeing one of these. Um, but since he is a baby and quite vulnerable, we're gonna put him in some tall grass here, well off the road where he has no chance of being hit by a car or anything like that. I'm gonna set him down. And there's a canal, maybe four feet down that way. He should be able to escape. There he goes. And he's free. That is so cool. All right, everyone. That's just about it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed and learned something new about the Eastern Mud Snake. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like on this video and consider subscribing to my channel for more educational wildlife content coming every Saturday morning. Also, if you want to see some more video clips and photos from my adventures, be sure to follow my social media pages at The Wild Report on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks so much for watching, and keep adventuring everywhere. This is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.